Hey guys, well it's a busy day for radios today. Um, one of the ones that wasn't supposed to be here today showed up. And then uh, this one showed up a little bit late. So let's go ahead and get this opened. Okay, we got the radio that I thought that I was getting when I opened the other one. Okay, the heavy little box. Oh, right. So, what does it say? It says, Walkie Talkies Camping K-Sun UV60D. And um, you get a completely different type of box. 100% what? Wireless radio replication. Multi-band transmitting and receiving. Type-C charger, base charging. Um, K-Sun, power, five watts. Let's see what else does it say. FCC ID is nothing to do with that particular model number. 10 group scrambler, password, power on password, emergency alert, portable multi-band transceiver. On the bottom it says, uh, features multi-band transmitting receiving, AM, FM, aviation band receiving, acts as frequency meter for two-way radio and some other devices, fast copy of one channel, wireless radio replication, 10 group scrambler, power on password, cross-band intercom, Frog sound tail signal, uh, type C charger and base, uh, DTMF select call supporting individual group full calls, DTMF A and I, DTMF calling, CTCS, DCS, 200 channel, reverse frequency function, timeout, etc. etc. So, um, without further ado, let's get this thing open. Okay, further ado. <laughs> What do people really mean when they say, without further ado, I, I do what? I do what I want. Okay. Some type of manual pretty much looks like the one that I think came with Corn Shang. Um, let's see here. It shows a radio that looks like the Corn Shang. There's quite a few pages here. Common operating instructions. Crossband receiving and transmitting. So you can do crossband repeat on this, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it just means you can transmit on 2 meters and receive on 440. Okay, specifications. General specs. Uh, absolutely no name of anything on here. Okay, here's the radio. So, this is Kason's version of the UBK5. And let's get it out of there. It uh, appears that it has no screen protector on it, uh, but maybe it does. I don't remember if these come with one or not. Um, I, don't, I don't think they do. Um, it's only slightly different. You actually really see the speaker through here too. Um, let's see. The um, the front of it here is just painted plastic. Um. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is retarded. Um, I believe they've painted the damn radio from here with really thick paint. Let me look at it. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, 
Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it looks. It just looks like paint. But maybe not. I don't know. Uh, oh, no. This is definitely paint. Okay. See a little line right there? Well, maybe not. You know, I really can't tell. But I, I, I honestly really do think that it's just paint. Um... Uh, Cause there's that line that's right here and I think they they taped it off and cut it with a knife anyway who freaking knows who cares so let's see what the idea is on the other one So the inside of the radios are different. Um, yeah, it doesn't say the same thing at all. Its uh, type is XTFSI. Um, this specifies a particular frequency. Any other one. Um, there's a serial number in one of them and not in the other. FCC ID 2AYFM-X-30TFSI. Um, I'm looking to see if... Uh, think maybe inside the radio is exactly the same just um, painted in here and not in here so there's some casting differences in the case um, oh they were missing this thing I didn't realize that well that's stupid <laughs> Hey, we got this thing to protect it. Well, nah, nah, we don't need that. We got, we got silver paint. So, I really didn't know that was missing. I swear I saw it in the ad. Let's go have a look. Nope, I guess it's not there. Okay. Anyway, these are $23 with 5% off. There's a GMRS version. Um... Batteries interchange, no problem. Welcome channel mode. Okay. Welcome channel mode one. Menu. Same voice. Menu. Um, I'm trying to remember how do you do the frequency unlock on this. And PTT and on or no. right here you hold let me show you hold these two okay now we're in the oh we'll see the f-lock menu is it it's off okay hmm all right the um the Klan Shang came uh, locked. Interesting. Okay. So, let's take a look at the Klan Shang again. Um, okay. Welcome, channel mode 5 
Okay. So you could do G B C E. And this one said F C C when I got it. So, um, let's go ahead and check our battery. Now, let's see. I think this battery looks like it's bigger. Um, hold on. Let's see. Some badly placed sticker upside down. Four. They, they really do. The, the ad said 4,000. I'm like, no. They're the same. God. Man. Some of these companies are so dishonest. This exact same battery. Twenty nine point six watt hour. Seven point four volt, seven point two, sixteen hundred. Not okay, two of these would be like uh two it'd be thirty two hundred. It would have to be like like I they're they feel the same to me. <laughs> these bastards Just try to lie and say oh All right, so uh, what else do we got in the box? Okay, just like the UV K5, we have the same crappy antenna, and the same belt clip. Uh, we have the earpiece, we have the charger, and. Um, so the thing that you don't get with this is you don't get that piece right there and you don't get a USB cable. The um, the antenna seems to have more clearance around it. It's kind of interesting. Let me double check that. Okay. When I put this one on here, yeah, it, it hits it just a little bit. Let's try the other one. Yeah, they're the same. Okay. So there you go. Okay, let's, uh, what do we got here? Two, three. Let me see here. Um, function. Four, six, two, five. Okay. Okay, we got uh, two, two, three, five. Okay, we'll put it on there. Let's try this one. Um, screen looks a little bit different because there's a little bit more plastic on the front. Um, okay, function. Test one, two, three, four. Kilo Golf Seven Hotel Victor Romeo. Okay. It actually sounds really good. Okay, let's try this one. <coughs> Testing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, let me see, if figure out how to turn that thing off. Beep. Not beep. I really like the menu system on these. The only thing that's really a bummer about these is you need to um, make a scan list or you can't scan anything and I don't think you can do it from the radio. 
Uh, come on. Okay, Roger. KG seven HR test. Okay, so that's off. Now another thing this one does. Um, Scanning begin. What the? Oh boy. It does this thing here. I have not changed any of the firmware on this one. Okay, I don't know if this one's gonna do that. This is transmitting too. <laughs> um, so, it has a spectrum scope on it. Maybe I did flash something onto this, I don't know. Um, but when you turn this one on, it doesn't say anything special. And so we're on, we're on 2235, test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You, we can see the spectrum, scope 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is it identifying the frequency? 523. Okay, so this one has, obviously, I did something to it, and I just forgot that I did. Uh, let's get this clip on the back of this. So I honestly think, like, these kind of radios are, like, one of the, the best value uh, for radios. Um, just because they're cheap, and they can do all kinds of tricks. And... You don't have to worry about whether or not they're unlocked or locked because you just, you know, do what you need to do. Um, so for $23, I think that that's probably a pretty good radio. I don't need to go through the ins and outs of it and, and show you uh, anything. Um, we can try uh, maybe Airband. Let me see. What was I listening to for Airband? I've got to find the other. Uh, Radtel might have the Airband. Or maybe not. Um, let's see. We'll go one, one two, two, zero, 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 zero. Okay. So it's automatically went into airband. Now I can't remember if. Uh, we need to change the steps or something. Um, now, there was a certain thing here I pulled up. It had all the airband frequencies. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, interesting. Okay. So, um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Three, 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 zero, zero. Okay. Um, one of these other radios had uh, some airband traffic on it. I was picking up. Welcome, channel mode. And let me see here. Huh. Menu. Frequency mode. One two eight four four seven, um, but I'd have to put it in the window over here and see if it picks up anything. Um, I don't believe that's a frequency. One two eight four four seven. Uh, I see seven fifty. Um, I see um, I don't know maybe I was listening to because you got Sedona you got Prescott and you got a couple of Cottonwood and uh, I don't know what this Coyote run is 119 
Okay. Um, and there's lots of planes going by all the time here, so we just got to find out uh, which one. They always use this term, uh, bruiser something, bruiser. I, I don't know what the hell it is. Okay. So, 128-4475. One two eight four two five. I need to change my steps on this. Um, I also need to open my squelch. Maybe put a different antenna on it. So four two five four two six. Okay, one two eight four four seven, and the other radio goes even more. Okay, so I am at one two eight. Okay. Let's wait for him to come back. I hear something too. I need to find the other antenna. Because this antenna is not going to work well for this. Grab this off the bow thing. <laughs> All right. I definitely can hear somebody off in the distance. I don't hear him on the other radio because the squelch is closed. Okay, so the rad tell really outdoes it. Okay. Let's see. This thing is so clear, this is distorted. See how it's distorted? This one is perfect.